Hello everyone and welcome to our video on ChatGPT for test automation. In this video, we will explore ChatGPT and go on a step-on-step -step journey on how we can create an automation test using ChatGPT. But first, for those uninitiated, let's have a look at ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? On November 30th, OpenAI released a conversational language processing chatbot built on the latest generative pre-training GPT language model. The chatbot named ChatGPT can create coherent and well-articulated responses to queries across a wide domain of topics. Within its first five days of its public launch, ChatGPT guarded over more than 1 million users. It uses cutting-edge natural language processing and deep learning technologies to create such high-quality language outputs that blurs the line between machine and human responses. So the next question that comes in our mind is can ChatGPT use for test automation? ChatGPT can be used for test automation in many ways. For example, it can be used to create test cases or test scenarios based on the user requirements and user stories. It can also be used to create test scripts or automation test reports. Not only that, it can also be used to write scripts to integrate and run your automation test on your favorite test execution platform like Lambda Test. Let's explore them one by one. Before we get started, it's important to highlight that all the code generated is not perfect. They are pretty close to runnable code in most of the cases. However, there are still issues ranging from syntax errors to missing out crucial steps because of the context gap. But experienced developers can be provided with enough of the boilerplate that can become easy to tweak, debug, and run independently. So let's start with a simple automation test script using ChatGPT. We asked ChatGPT to create a simple code with Selenium with Java to provide and open google.com and print out its title. And most importantly, the code should be able to run on Lambda Test Cloud Selenium grid. So let's check out the response. This opens google.com in a Chrome browser and print out its title. ChatGPT also laid out the crucial steps required to integrate this test case on Lambda Test. This response shows the platform automatically added the complex Lambda Test capabilities like hub, URL, desired capabilities, and the prompt for access keys and username. All of these are required to run this test on Lambda Test. That was pretty amazing, right? Now let's up the stakes and ask ChatGPT for a complex test scenario. When we are performing web automation, we are often face to face complex automation test scenarios. It can be around APIs or testing microservices. Can ChatGPT make our life easier if we hand over a complex test automation scenario? Let's find out. We ask ChatGPT to create a test case where we have a Selenium testing platform that allows the user to point to the point their selenium test on hub.lambda.com. This platform consists of four microservices responsible for the following details. The first microservice accepts the selenium test and calls the second microservice to create its test identity in the database. The first service then connects with the third service and provides it with Linux Docker container, where selenium jars and the web browsers are present. Upon receiving these details, the Docker container and the first service proxies the HTTP request to the Docker containers. The fourth service collects the text execution log from the Docker container and exposes API to return different logs for every Selenium test. We call this the first service as Selenium Hub, the second, Selenium, the second service as the test management service, and the third service as Linux container service. The fourth service we call it as log management service. We ask ChatGPT to write a Cucumber test definition for this platform. And go, ChatGPT successfully created an automation test case for our use case. We can now go one step further down and ask ChatGPT to create a revised test definition for positive and negative test cases for all the four services. So we ask ChatGPT for the same. And ChatGPT was able to successfully create these services without failure. That was truly remarkable, right? Don't you think? Wouldn't it be a fairy tale if we asked ChatGPT to help us with continuous testing by configuring a GitHub action for our test scenario, scheduling tests and fetching the test results from Lambda Test Platform using Lambda Test APIs. So we asked ChatGPT to write a GitHub action to run all the tests daily at 9 p.m. and point them to Lambda Test. Additionally, we also asked to fetch the test results from Lambda Test using their APIs. 
and ChatGPT was able to help us with the script as well. The whole experience was fun. I had goosebumps every time the platform exceeded our expectations. But here is a realistic learning from all our experimentation. ChatGPT is still its in early stage and constant updates are being made to add features or fix bugs. In addition to the constantly learning model, so and more and more people use it to find issues in the platform and better and better it becomes. Its accuracy will continue to increase and the learning gaps will continue to fill. This means the user must be stay on the top of these changes to continue to use ChatGPT efficiently. In conclusion, we can say that this tool, if used correctly, will enable the teams to get started with the task much easier and faster. Proper tooling created with this technology in the background will empower testers to not only worry too much about the automation, but focus on the test cases themselves. That's all from our side today. Thank you everyone for joining. Happy testing.